February 9, 1996, around 8 a.m., NJT-1254 was deploying while we were heading towards Hoboken eastbound. With Cal Car 5146 leading and GP40PHS2-4110 pushing, built for the CNJ in 1968. 275 passengers and two conductors were on board, with John Nicholas as the engineer. Nor did anyone know that she knew the colors had a color blindness. Let's get back to that later. Meanwhile, NGT 1107 was making its way towards Suffern after departing Hoboken at 8.31 a.m. with its next station stop, Secaucus Junction. With GP40 PHS2 4148, built in 1967 for the LLN, and Cal 5120 at the wheel. 175 passengers, two conductors were on board, with engineer Alfonso de Bonas at the controls. Up ahead, 1254 will have to come to a stop at a signal at Bergen Junction to let 11 cylinder pass before 1254 can continue eastbound towards Hoboken. However, this did not happen. Twelve fifty four was getting closer and closer and closer at Bergen Junction. But seconds later, disaster struck. Twelve fifty four ran past a stop signal before colliding with a level seven at eight forty AM. Capcom fifty one forty six right side was split open when it slammed into forty one forty eight. The GP forty meanwhile roof collapsed in on the cab and only suffered minor damage. The conductors on twelve fifty four and level seven as well as two deadhead NGT employees on level 7 helped evacuate passengers on both trains. The engineers on both trains and off for stone, a passenger on 1254 were killed. 162 passengers meanwhile suffered injuries. The NTSB concluded at the cause that the colorless failed to stop at red signal due to a color blindness. He thought it was green, but still was red. But by the time he saw a level 7 sight, it was too late to stop. In the end, Capcom 5146 was deemed a total loss and was totally late for scrap. 4148, meanwhile, was taken to Altoona, where it was rebuilt as a GP40 PHS2B, renumbered to 4219, and was soon put back into service by 1997. 4219 along with 4110 still could continue to operate to this day. 
Capcom 51 20 meanwhile was retired in the early 2000s and was sold to the Nile Railroad Historical Society of New Jersey.